One of the clearest signs of life on an exoplanet can be the presence of artificial lights on its surface, and the newly launched James Webb Space Telescope may have finally made one such discovery. New reports state that the observatory may have picked up signs of artificial lights on a planet called Proxima b. Let's take a closer look at this frightening discovery. The JWST is a state-of-the-art space telescope that is a culmination of 30 years of research and development, costing $10 billion. Calling it one of the grandest scientific endeavors of the 21st century wouldn't be a stretch, as it represents the future of space observation and one of the things we will rely on the most to increase our understanding of the universe in the coming decades. The telescope will have the capability to see just about anything in the sky, but its main objective will be to observe light coming from the very first stars to shine in the universe. This will make it possible for us to see the moment when darkness ended and the first stars came into existence for the first time. Because of the complexity of the equipment, the James Webb Space Telescope has had to sit through various delays in development, but now that it is operational, it will help us answer some of humanity's greatest mysteries. Having the ability to accurately trace sources of light millions of miles away is one of the biggest reasons why the telescope may be the first piece of equipment in history to finally discover traces of intelligent life in the universe. And as Proxima b seems to be one of the leading candidates to host an alien civilization, the telescope may be our only hope for finding answers. The first clue of the possibility of intelligent life on Proxima b was discovered back in 2019, when a strange signal was picked up coming from the direction of the planet by the Parkes radio telescope in Australia. Although the reports are still a bit unclear, the signal reportedly showed up during five different 30-minute periods over several days while the telescope was directly pointing toward the planet. Based on the information available so far, the signal was concentrated into an extremely narrow range of frequencies. This pointed toward it being artificial and distinctly unlike any known natural radio sources. One of the biggest lingering questions that stands is that if the signal does turn out to be of extraterrestrial origin, should humanity send them a reply or not? However, our technological limitations mean it would take just over a decade for the message to reach the planet. The next step in this discovery is to identify all possible sources of terrestrial interference in the data collected from the strange signal. Since such a massive discovery will change the course of human history and our understanding of the cosmos forever, the scientists involved are rightly taking every step necessary to correctly identify the origins of this signal. One of the ways this can be achieved is by observing the planet through the James Webb Telescope. Six years ago, scientists discovered Proxima b, one of the most exciting exoplanet discoveries so far. It is a rocky planet similar in size to Earth orbiting the nearest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri. While the detection seemed solid, more confirmation is always good, and now the Espresso spectrograph on the Very Large Telescope in Chile has provided that extra and more detailed confirmation. The news was announced by the University of Geneva on May 28, 2020, and the planet was named Proxima Centauri b. In the past several years, astronomers have found a large and growing number of Earth-sized exoplanets orbiting distant stars. Some are in the habitable zones of their stars, where temperatures might allow liquid water to exist on their surfaces. That is exciting in itself, but Proxima Centauri b is of particular interest, since it's orbiting the closest star to our Sun, only 4.2 light-years away. Its confirmation underscores current findings that such worlds are common in our galaxy. Proxima Centauri b is very similar in size to Earth, with a mass of 1.17 Earth masses. It orbits its star in only 11.2 days, in contrast to our Earth's year-long orbit around our Sun. That means Proxima Centauri b is a lot closer to its star than Earth is to the Sun. But because the star is a red dwarf, much smaller and cooler than our Sun, its orbit is indeed within the habitable zone of Proxima Centauri. Interestingly, Proxima Centauri b receives about the same amount of solar energy from its star that Earth does from our Sun. So theoretically, Proxima Centauri b could have water on its surface. It could be habitable, but, of course, we don't yet know all the details about the habitability of exoplanets. We do know that many factors affect a planet's habitability, such as temperature, the composition of the planet and atmosphere, water, and radiation from its sun. 
Red dwarfs like Proxima Centauri are known to emit flares, and these flares make habitability for red dwarf exoplanets even more complex and interesting. Astronomers first found Proxima Centauri b in 2016 using an older spectrograph called HARPS. The newer spectrograph, Espresso, said to be the most accurate in the world, was able to conduct radial velocity measurements on Proxima Centauri that are the most precise to date. A total of 63 spectroscopic observations of Proxima Centauri were acquired by Espresso in 2019. The new confirmation of Proxima Centauri b is exciting, but there may be more surprises in store. There is also possible evidence of another and smaller planet in the newest data. Secondary detection was made, although it isn't certain whether it is a planet. If it is, it is even smaller than Proxima Centauri b. If it is a planet, it would be more akin to Mars or Mercury in size and mass. Estimated at a minimum Earth mass of 0.29 plus or minus 0.08 and orbits the star in only 5.15 days. It wouldn't be too surprising though since low mass stars like red dwarfs tend to have multiple planets in their systems. More observations will be required to either confirm or refute this possible second planet. But wait, there's more! Last January, another research team announced their finding of another possible planet orbiting Proxima Centauri called Proxima Centauri c. This one is also just still a candidate at this point, but if real, it is about six times as massive as Earth. This would make it a super-Earth. These are planets that are significantly larger and more massive than Earth, but smaller and less massive than Neptune. It is estimated to orbit the star every 5.2 years. If both of the new candidates were to be confirmed, that would mean Proxima Centauri would have at least three planets orbiting it. Proxima Centauri is the nearest star to our Sun, although it is part of a three-star system, including the two stars of Alpha Centauri. They may be the closest stars, but the planets don't transit in front of Proxima Centauri as seen from Earth, as most exoplanets are found. So astronomers have had to use the radial velocity method to find them, where the planet's gravity causes a slight wobble in the star's motion. While little is known so far about what Proxima Centauri b is actually like, just the fact that it exists around the nearest star to our solar system supports previous research showing that Earth-sized and super-Earth-sized exoplanets are common in our galaxy. That is exciting and bodes well for the search for life elsewhere. One potential problem, though, is that red dwarf stars are very energetic and emit dangerous radiation that could strip the atmospheres off of planets that are too close. Whether this is the case for Proxima Centauri b is not known yet. If it does still have a substantial atmosphere, it would be an ideal target for other telescopes to look for possible biomarkers and chemical signatures of life. The confirmation of Proxima Centauri b, now the nearest confirmed exoplanet, is exciting. Its potential habitability and proximity to our solar system give us something to think about. When viewing the Earth from space, the most obvious sign that a civilization calls the planet home is the glow of lights from the night side of our planet. The massive cities which are visible from above emit light that is shed into the cosmos. The biggest problem we have had so far is the lack of technology to observe similar lights on planets outside our solar system. But this will all change thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Since the Proxima b is tidally locked with a permanent night sod, scientists speculate that any intelligent civilization living on the planet may deploy powerful mirrors or use the very bright LED-style lights to illuminate their cities. Just like Earth, the light from these cities will undoubtedly rise into space, where we may be able to see them for the first time. The new telescope has a wider spectrum view than any of its predecessors and will operate further out from the Earth in a solar orbit of 930,000 miles from home and will have the ability to detect these lights. Initial investigations have already been carried out to estimate if artificial lights can be detected on the dark side of Proxima b by computing light curves from the planet and its host star. The two different scenarios which could occur are artificial illumination on an identical spectrum as LEDs on Earth or a narrower spectrum that leads to the same proportion of light as total artificial illumination on Earth. If the telescope can detect narrowband light that's similar to LED bulbs, it'll be because of its ability to characterize the atmosphere of the planet. This will allow researchers to use various instruments to detect how much energy transport takes place on the planet and then perform calculations of light curves to determine whether they match those of an LED light source. If this is indeed the case, then we will be one step closer to concluding if Proxima b is a bastion for life outside our solar system. For all our city lights, the Earth's surface is only 0.05% urbanized. 
our telescopes wouldn't be able to see us if they were parked at Proxima Centauri. A greater percentage of urbanization could help us see a distant civilization more clearly, like say, 100%. But what exactly is 100% urbanization? An ecumenopolis. An ecumenopolis is a city planet, a world where the entire surface is covered in one giant city. Several examples exist in science fiction, such as the human empire capital planet of Trantor in Isaac Asimov's Foundation Trilogy, and the Republic and Empire capital of Coruscant in Star Wars. But more than a geeky sci-fi concept, it's conceivable that an advanced civilization could completely encase their world in an unending urban landscape. How visible would such a world be? Scientists have found that future telescopes would be capable of detecting ecumenopolis worlds around 82 stars in the stellar neighborhood of the sun. That's an astonishing amount of space. So if somebody out there is shining that brightly, we may be able to see them in the coming decade. This research demonstrates that close-range red dwarf stars provide the best opportunity for detecting urban worlds, meaning Proxima b is the current prime target. Detecting an ecumenopolis version of Proxima b would be easy for next-generation telescopes. We could detect just 0.5% urbanization of the planet. That's still 10 times more than Earth's present urbanization. However, current city growth rates put the Earth at 0.5% within the next 100 years, a blink in stellar time. If an alien civilization does exist, it could have already reached this level of urbanization, assuming that technological civilizations are long-lived. And that's the thing. We don't know if technological civilizations are long-lived or not. That's one of the reasons why we do SETI. Finding someone else shining in the void means there's more hope that we can keep the lights on too. If you like this video, you may also like this one, which talks about Planet Nine and how some new evidence may confirm its existence. Do you think Proxima B is home to an alien civilization? Please share your thoughts in the comments section below.